There you are. What are you doing? We got some pasta to make. Yes, folks, you heard me correct. Pasta. Not just pasta. That we will also be making a beautiful looking garlic bread that I cannot wait to eat and for you guys to see. I wish you could eat it with me. Mm, it's so good. But for the pasta, we will be needing bam, penny pasta, the good stuff. Bam, marinara sauce, shredded mozzarella cheese, Italian seasoning. For the garlic bread, we need bam, garlic paste, bam, a loaf of bread, sourdough preferably, butter, basil, parsley, garlic bread. So let's go to Meyer in my car and I will show you guys where to find the ingredients. Here we are. And we're off. Hopefully I don't crash. Okay, so there has been a slight change of plan. I forgot that Meyer is crowded always. And so I'm just going to Kroger. I will see you guys at Kroger. Kroger, 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 Kroger. Okay, we are on our way to the ingredients. I can provide no guarantee on the sound quality of these videos, so I might not even be using any of these clips. And the next time you see me, it might be at my house, but I will show, I will be showing the ingredients. So yes, as I predicted, recording in the store did not go too well. Um, none of the clips are really worth watching at all. I'll just show you all the ingredients that I have in my kitchen in the next clip. So, yeah. First off, we got the penny pasta to go with it. We got the Italian seasoning. Oop, let me fix it up real quick. The marinara sauce and a big bag of shredded mozzarella cheese. Then we got the sourdough bread, the mozzarella cheese slices, the parsley, basil, garlic butter. Ooh, put that back in frame. And last but not least, butter. All right, so here are all of the utensils, pots, pans, anything that you would need right here for the pasta. And the next thing we are going to do is fill this pot with water. And here we go. And just like that, we have our water. Okay, and then we come to the stove, turn it on high, and we wait for the water to boil. Okay, and while we wait for the water to boil, we are going to cut up our bread, like so. And here is our bread. Any knife works, as long as it has little, uh, little teeth here. They're meant for, you know cutting bread this was the best i have in my house but it'll get the job done so we will be cutting the bread top to bottom one inch apart all the way across the bread and when you make these cuts you want to make them as close to the bottom as possible as you can without actually cutting through the bread in order to get the most out of it and then after we make the cuts this way we will be making perpendicular cuts to that to make a grid formation with the bread now let's get to the cutting. A few inches later. All right, there's the bread all cut. And now that we have cut the bread, the water should be boiling. If we come over here, we see that it is in fact boiling. Okay, now that the water is boiling, we are going to add our pasta into the boiling water. Burnt my hand. <laughs> nice. We're going to put the noodles in the boiling water for 11 minutes. So we go here to our timer to 11 and stir every minute or so just to make sure that the noodles don't get burnt or something with our special little spoon here. And I will come back when the pasta is ready. While I wait for the pasta to boil, we're going to turn the oven up to 350. You will see why we need that later on. Oh, sh not, no, there we go, 350. Stirring and stirring and stirring. Our first order of business with our garlic bread is to take out our slices of cheese. We're gonna fold them in half like so. And you might want to have someone help you with this. For the first one, I can probably do it on my own, but we're gonna have to push the bread apart and just slip that piece of cheese in there. And then you're gonna need about two slices per row, obviously not for this one, but 
for the most part, two slices per row, and I'll show you what it looks like. A few moments later. As you can see, we have stuffed the cheese into all of the little cracks and crevices of the bread. And now it is time for us to apply our garlic butter mixture to make it ready to go in the oven. For this garlic butter mixture, we are going to need our garlic paste, our parsley, and an entire stick of butter. And we are going to throw it all into a bowl like this. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients mixed in this bowl, we are going to throw it in the microwave for starting with a minute, but really just until it is fully melted. So, I want it to be a nice liquid when it comes out. And stirring and stirring and stirring. The mixture as it has been put into the microwave, it should look a little something like this. And what we're going to do is, see I've got it over the sink to prevent any more of a mess than I have to clean up later. Um, and we're just going to pour it on here. Make sure you get it everywhere. I like to start near the middle. Might have to give a little persuasion to the uh, garlic paste just because more solid than the butter, but this still looks pretty good to me. And stirring, and stirring, and stirring, and stirring. All right, the timer just went off on the pasta, and now that it's done, we are going to bring it over to our strainer and pour it all in there like so. And there we go, let that drain out real quick. All right, now that the pasta is strained, we are gonna take it back over to our pot and dump the entire thing back in. All right, once you have all of your strained pasta back in the pot, you're gonna grab your jar of marinara sauce. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dump that whole thing in there. You are going to get every last drop out of that jar because you are going to need it and appreciate it. Now, once you get the entire jar poured in there, you're gonna stir it all up until it looks like this. And now that the pasta has been stirred, it is time to put some Italian dressing in. I wish I could give you a, a measurement of what you're supposed to put in here, but just give it a decent amount, whatever you think looks good. And now we're gonna stir the Italian seasoning in there till you can't really notice it's there. Trust me, you will notice it in the taste. Now that the Italian seasoning has been all stirred in, it is time to add a good pinch of basil. Again, whatever feels right to you. Just throw all that in there. Now that the basil has been added, you're going to mix that all up in there until it is evenly distributed throughout the pot. Now that we have the sauce and seasonings mixed in, we are going to pour it all into this glass pan like so. All right, now that we've got all the pasta spread out in the pan, it is time to put the cheese on top of it. All right, so we got our big bag of shredded mozzarella cheese and just pour it on there till it's all completely covered. All right, this is about what it should look like. As you can see, I spilled a little bit of cheese. It's no big deal, especially if you have a dog to clean it up for you. Now it's time to throw this in the oven. All right, as I said before, we've got the oven preheated to 350 and we are putting the pasta in there, not necessarily for a specific time, just waiting for the cheese to get completely melted on the top. Eventually. All right, so let's open up the oven and we see that cheese looks pretty melted. That's how you want it to look. It's time to take it out. Now, when you're taking this out, very important, safety first, oven mitts. Let's take it out right here and set it down on a place where it can cool off. Maybe the top of the stove would work. <laughs> For bread, put it on a sheet pan and replace the pasta in the oven with the bread. We're gonna wait till that cheese looks nice and melted and we will check on that in a bit. 12 seconds later. All right, we take a look in here and we can see that the cheese on the bread is not melted. Two hours later. All right. We take a look inside the stove and we, s nope. One eternity later. All right, we take a look inside the oven. We see that the cheese is completely melted into the bread. And 
maybe want to let it cool down for a little bit. And once this is completely cooled off, you can just stick your hand right in there, grab a nice cheesy slice, and enjoy. And that will do it on how to make the cheesy pasta and the cheesy garlic bread. I really hope that you guys can watch this video and make this for yourself. And hopefully you can enjoy it as much as I did because it was delicious. Also a big shout out to my camera woman slash kitchen aide slash girlfriend, Lindsay. Uh, thank you for all the amazing help. You're the best.